If you are looking to buy the best PC build overall for both gaming, content creation, streaming and everything in between, this is going to be the perfect video for you because the new Ryzen 9 9950X was just released and this is the overall fastest CPU from AMD. If you want the best of the best when it comes to both gaming and content creation at the same time, this PC build is going to be perfect for you and if you just want to do gaming and not content creation or just any products really work, I have another system for you in this same video so i will leave the links to both pcs down in the video description and of course i will show you the exact level of performance that you will be getting with this pc that being said let's start now the reason why this system is so amazing when it comes to everything and not just gaming is because this 16 core processor is actually one of the best cpus in the entire market when it comes to machine learning ai rendering and in terms of application performance in most applications is faster compared to the i9 14900k which is the highest end cpu from intel that i will not be recommending for a while for two reasons the first one is because of the stability issues that intel has been facing and they haven't fixed it yet so you might be risking your CPU if you buy the i9 14900K. The second reason, well, second and third reason actually, is because of the CPU temps, Intel is less power efficient than AMD and requires a ton of extra cooling, while AMD, as most of you know, is more power efficient. On top of that, AMD is more upgradable over time. Also, the 9950X is one of the best CPUs when it comes to Adobe Premiere. So, as I said before, if you're a content creator, this is going to be a perfect CPU for you, especially considering that Intel is not an option at the moment. Now, when it comes to gaming performance, the 9950X is basically the same as the last gen 7950X, so there's not going to be a difference. And even though these CPUs are not the fastest when it comes to gaming, they are among the best CPUs when it comes to gaming regardless. They are about 7% slower than the fastest Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. So it's not like the new Ryzen 9 at all. It's actually one of the best ones when it comes to gaming. It's just that it's not as good as the 7800X 3D when it comes to pure gaming performance. But of course, the 7800X 3D is not as good as the 9950X when it comes to productivity work, content creation, and AI. Now, you need proper cooling for this CPU because even though it's more power efficient than Intel, you still need a nice CPU cooler. For that reason, I went with the Montec 360mm all-in-one liquid cooler, white edition. This one looks amazing and it's going to be perfect to pair with this Ryzen 9. For the motherboard, I went with the ASRock X670E Steel Legend. This one looks amazing and it's going to be the perfect motherboard for creators as well. You have plenty of features, plenty of M.2 slots in case you want to upgrade your storage down the line. And most importantly, you can always upgrade your CPU down the line, as I said before. Then you get 64 gigs of RGB memory. This is 6000 CL30 timings, very fast. And having 64 gigs of RAM is going to be ideal, especially if you're a content creator or you want to do more than just gaming. In terms of storage, you get 4 terabytes. I went with two different drives. One of them is the 990 Pro from Samsung. This one is a 2 terabyte drive and it's the fastest one. And I do recommend you keeping your heavy files in here. And then I went with the Crucial P3 Plus, but it's slightly slower than the Samsung drive. And it's going to be ideal for you to keep your games in here. Because for gaming, there's no difference between Gen 3, Gen 4, Gen 5. It's going to be the same performance so I recommend you keeping your games in here. Talking about gaming, for the graphics card, you get the fastest GPU in the entire market in the RTX 4090. Now, this one is by far the fastest when it comes to gaming and content creation as well. So you are getting the best of both worlds while getting this graphics card and you get the best level of ray tracing performance. You also get DLSS, which is the upscaler from Nvidia. But to be honest, you don't need to turn on DLSS with this graphics card because you can play any game that you want at 4K resolution ultra settings. For the gaming test, you can pause the video right now for you to see the exact games that were being tested at 4K ultra settings. And this is a 15 game average where the RTX 4090 was able to average 133 FPS, making it the fastest in the market, as I said before. And honestly, over 130 FPS when it comes to the most high demanding games out there is impressive. As I said before, you get the fastest, best of the best. And if you want to play esports games, well, you can expect well over 540 plus when it comes to 1080p competitive settings, over 360 plus FPS when it comes to 1440p competitive settings, and over 240 plus FPS when it comes to 4K. Then, 
let's talk about the case because airflow is one of the most important parts when talking about a system especially when we are talking about high-end pcs like this one because they do require more cooling and better airflow for that reason i went with the montec sky 2 i love this one it looks super clean all white aesthetic and by the way if you want an all black aesthetic you will have the black pc alternative in the description and this one is great because you get a front mesh panel great airflow you get three print style rgb fans in the front and you do have to add one extra fan on the back from montec as well and last but not least for the power supply i went with the nzxt c1200 which is a 1200 watt power supply which is going to be needed for this cpu and gpu combo because it's going to require a ton of power the total price for this system by the time of filming is about $3,500 so very expensive but if you are looking for the best of the best and you want to do gaming and content creation at the same time I do think that this system is going to be the best option for you. And then if you're just going to do gaming and you don't care about content creation then the alternative system is going to be much better because you get the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D and then you get 32 gigs of RAM which is as I said before amazing for gaming and you do not need anything more than this and it is also great for most content creators then you get a 1000 watt power supply because you don't need 1200 watts since the 7800 x3d is more power efficient and if you buy this system for gaming well the total price is going to be around 2900 dollars which is about 500 dollars less than the original system and trust me when i say that if you want to do gaming first this system is going to be even faster than the other one which is more expensive Remember that the price might be different when you're watching this video, so I do recommend you checking the latest prices and availability from the links down below. And with this system, as I said before, it is not trash when it comes to content creation and productivity work, it's just not as good as the other one. So if you are a content creator, but you do not do some heavy workloads, you are not a professional, this system is still pretty amazing for most people. But anyway, let me know what you guys think, and let me know if you're going to be buying a high-end system like this one, down in the comment section and in the top link in the description if you still have some doubts you can talk to me for personal pc help thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and i will see you on the next one